Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and the fact that we've been rejected off our upper regression ban for the second time. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So we've now had two major moves into our upper regression band. And this band is important because it's sort of the same area that we've had some turnaround points during the last cycle, as well as the cycle before that. Okay, we've if you if you look closely, the, the wicks to these prior market cycle tops actually exceeded the regression band by about two to five percent or so. Um, but so far, we have been unable to actually move into that regression band. I do think that Bitcoin will trend into the regression band uh, decisively at some point this market cycle, but it might not happen tomorrow. Okay, and that's that's not necessarily a bad thing because what we've always said remains true within the market cycle is that time is on our side. So uh, we look to say, okay, well, where does the regression band currently range from? This is always something that we should know. Uh, again, it's only fit to three data points, so nothing to take to the bank or anything like that, but it is somewhat of a guide in, th in, in looking to see, okay, well, if we were to fit this to a regression equation, um, what to a three data point fit what would be the theoretical upper bound so it's nothing more than a mathematical exercise and right now it, it, impressively the lower bound is approaching 60k and in fact the lower bound to this upper regression band is now at fifty nine thousand nine hundred and six dollars the upper part ranges up to eighty eight thousand three thirty two so a fairly wide range but so far we really have not decisively moved into it we've moved into it twice on the weekly time frame, uh, this one was a, a weekend, and, and then the second time we also briefly moved in with a candle. But you can see that we've actually had no closes in it. So we've actually had three weekly candles with wicks into it, but none of the weekly candles closed in it. So so far there has not been a decisive move into it that was sustained in any way. It's just been wicks. So then we look to say, okay, well if we're not going into it in the short term. What are some alternatives? Okay, well, the first alternative is we actually do what people might not expect, and that could be go sideways for a while. One thing interesting about, about Bitcoin, if you look at the last cycle, there were phases where we literally just went sideways for months at a time, months at a time. Um, and it, it might not seem like it because when you zoom out, it just seems like this was one hell of a bull market that just went up. But if you zoom in, and as we know, when you live through it, it's a lot different than just looking at a chart several years later and saying, well, that would have been easy to hold. If you look at this move, we had a substantial move up. I mean, we moved from the bottom of the wick all the way down from 161 or so. I don't know if that one, how, how valid that one would have been in terms of people actually accumulating, but you could have been easily buying at some of these candles down at 225. We had a major move up to 506. And then after that, we more or less went sideways for half a year, okay? And these are the phases that a lot of people overlook in bull markets, the idea that we could just go sideways for a while and that it could take several months of consolidation. So in this environment, right, we know that we could go up, down, or sideways. If we were to go sideways, we have to always be prepared for the fact that it could mean that crypto, for Bitcoin anyways, Bitcoin could theoretically get boring for a while, uh, where it's just sort of consolidating and if it is doing something like that, we also would remember that this is still monotonically moving up. Okay, so in, in very short order, the lower bound will be 60K. We know the upper bound will be going up to 90K. It's increasing by about $70 a day or so, somewhere in that ballpark. So it's moving up relatively quickly. Later this year, the upper bound will go over 100K and so on and so forth. So as we've always said with Bitcoin, time is on our side. We will have corrections at various phases during the cycle, but it doesn't mean that we can't ultimately trend back up. Now, if we don't move sideways and this sort this upwards movement that we've had over the last six months is unable to be sustained because you know a lot of people look at the price and they just think like, oh, we're immediately gonna go to 100K. 
Uh, I think a lot of people also underestimate the volume needed to sustain prices of Bitcoin at like 70 or $60,000 and in that ballpark. It takes a lot of volume. It takes a lot of continued interest because people are going to want to take profits and whatnot. So if it does go back down, as we, as we, you know, as we said in the last Bitcoin video, the, the main area to look for on, say, a sort of the market structure would be the 20 week estimate, the 21 week EMA. And right now we know that ranges from 36.3 up to 38.7K. But in the short term, you might look to say the 20 day moving average. Um, and if we, if we pull that in, we're actually right at it right now. And then the 21 day EMA, okay? So these would be the two areas to look at. Uh, we've, we've bounced off these levels before. Um, right now, we had a wick back up to the 20 day moving average and we basically got rejected back down and now we're sort of trying to hold support as i'm making this video we're trying to hold support at the 21 day ema okay if those don't hold the next area to look would be in fact the 50 day moving average and the only reason we say that one is because that has been the one that held us support more or less back over here when we hit it at around 29 30k today this one is just over 50k so if we were to retrace back to fifty thousand dollars, we're going to be flirting with the with the fifty day moving average. Now another moving average we have looked at is the um, is actually the the eight week moving average, which is not something we really talk about that much, and I don't really think it's that important. But the main reason we look at it um, is just because we we've, we've noted that this this bull market that we've been in this over the last six months has basically been holding support at that level. Okay, so if we remove everything, you can see that this eight week moving average line has more or less been our support every step of the way, right? We hit it here at around at around 11.3K. We hit it again around or just shy of 20K or so. And then again at, at around 30K. And then we came back to it again around 44K. And we are approaching it. And if you're curious, that that one is at is at 51.6K. More precisely on this one, it's at 50 to 51,591. So at the end of the day, this has been one hell of a bull market over the last six months. I would not be surprised in the very least if we were to have a cool down period where a lot of the new money really gets tested because so far all they've known is things go up, right? And any 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 concept that it might not go up in the short term is, is a somewhat foreign concept to them. So if we do see prices retrace, I think it will test the new money a lot. It will test their resolve because they're going to see that it might not always be fun and games and that you will sometimes get pullbacks and 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 actually those a lot of times will actually represent opportunities rather than rather than a necess or rather than create a necessity to capitulate so we'll follow along for the cycle so far we have not decisively broken into our upper regression band we've had a few wicks into it if we were to have a major pullback, we would be looking towards our bull market support. Okay, as we've discussed for months on here, uh, years in fact, the 20 week SMA and the 21 week EMA are the key areas to watch in a bull market. Going below those levels is generally not good for altcoins. Um, but if we hold it as support like we did over here, we know how quickly sentiment can change. Okay, so those are the areas to keep an eye on. Obviously, there's some shorter term targets like 51K, 50K, that ballpark for some of the shorter moving averages that have held us support. If we fall below that, look towards these other longer term levels. And by the way, the, the 20 week SMA is at 36K now. But if it were to take a couple weeks, if we had a drop, a sustained drop, and it took a couple weeks, then the 20 week moving average will be quickly approaching $40,000. So you guys sort of see where we are. Nothing too crazy has happened yet, right? We've had a fairly fairly significant move over the last six months, some 30% corrections. Uh, you know, this one was, I believe this one was around 31%. This one that we had a few weeks ago was, was closer to 26% or so, I believe, You're right around 26%. And the one we have now, so far, has bottomed out at around 14%. So to go down 30% on par with say the, or let's say 30 to 31%, that would actually take us to the low 40,000s, which would be a substantial drop from here. And if we were to go down to the low 40,000s and it were to take a couple weeks to do it, then it could actually correspond also to testing our bull market support ban. Hopefully this video is informative. 
We know that time is on our side. This market cycle dips would likely represent opportunities. We'll be here every step of the way. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember, we also have the premium list altcoin season sales still going on. Check it out in the description below. You'll get access to these trading view indicators, the weekly reports and videos, the end of the Cryptoverse app, the Telegram alerts channel, Telegram chat room, the risk dashboard, um, and more. Make sure you guys check it out before the prices go up. Thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.